Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to Sumna ES guys. I hope you all are doing really great. And from this video onwards, we are starting one syllabus line of UPSC Agriculture Optional Paper 2. There is one syllabus line which is written, package of practices of different horticultural crops. Right, so we are starting this series. We will be picking up 10, 12 crops which are important from the examination point of view, which can directly come up, right? So we will be like dividing it into 12, uh, 10, 12 crops. 10, 12 videos will be under this series. We are starting it with mango base. Right, so the, these are the package of practices. Paper 2. Agriculture optional paper 2 under horticulture unit. You will see first line as different package of practices or different horticulture crops. Right, so mango is our focus area today. How questions are being asked? Directly they will ask you the POP of mango or they will ask you one of the part of the POPs which we will be studying. See, when you study in the books, in the notes, directly this table you see. This botanical description, climatic requirement, this uh, uh, cultural practices, right, propagation uh, methods, pest management, all this is written like this in short form. Don't worry, don't see right now. All what is written in this table, we will be learning it in this class. We will be ratifying, ratifying it in, in this class only. This is the objective of this class, right? So without wasting any time, let us start, guys. Over here, mango. <clears throat> mango is the king of fruit, guys, right? These are short, short description, which you know that it is also known as bathroom fruit. Why we call it as bathroom fruit? This you all must be knowing. It is the king of all fruits. It is also a national fruit, guys. National fruit of India, mango. Bathroom fruit because when we eat, then our hands get messy and we have to clean it, right? That's why bathroom fruit, Britishers gave this name. But these are the things which you will find. For example, anywhere in any book you read, you will see this, that king of fruit, bathroom fruit. These are the common names by which we call it. Mango. One of the favorite fruit, fruit uh, uh, this uh, mango is. So how do we have to learn it from the package of practices point of view? Whenever package of practices we are seeing, first of all, one thing should come into our mind is botanical description, guys. Whenever they will ask you about in the examination about mango or any crop, any crop, POP, either agronomical crops or either this horticultural crops, you have to start with the botanical description. This is your first objective, guys. Botanical description is very important. Now, guys, what should be the approach of doing POPs? See, package of practices you have to do of agronomical crops also. You have to do it of horticultural crop also. This is unit, this is of paper one. This is of paper two. What you are understanding from here is I'll be suppose giving you 40, 50 minutes on one particular crop. Now, this is from my side, I have given you that where you have to focus and how you have to keep this information in your mind. But on your side, you have to devote at least 30 minutes daily on a particular crop. Those who know me, those who are in personal contact with me, I am telling you the approach, how you have to imbibe, how you have to internalize this knowledge. Because once I'll be teaching you in this 40-50 minutes, you will not be internalizing it. You will be understanding, but you will not be internalizing it. For internalization, you need another 30 minutes on your own you have to put it guys that you are understanding it to, it to the core whatever we have studied in this way these things will be 100 percent imprinted in you then the agricultural mindset will be also developed and this will be reflected in your answers in the main skies right so what i will suggest and what i suggest to my students who have subscribed is that whenever till your means whenever you are writing your means for five six days before that whatever your preparation journey is for 10 months one year two year Almost every day you have to devote 30 minutes to 40 minutes to a particular crop. I am not saying decide by your own that what crop you have to read. For example, give mango two days, 30-30 minutes. By this you are actually thinking about, uh, actually imbibing or I can say actually internalizing that information. For example, two days you have given to mango, two days banana, two days papaya. Likewise, horticultural crops, 10-12 horticultural crops you have uh, like done. Agronomical crops, 15 agronomical crops you have done. In this way, this will you will be ready for at least two to three questions which are coming from this area. Two to four questions, I will say. Because minimum three questions are fixed from these two package of practices. And maximum it can go to five. Right. 
so first of all botanical description one should know that so whenever we talk about botanical description family come first we should know about the family then genus come next we should know about the genus then species come right these three things should be known to us what family what genus what species okay so over here when we will know this and then varieties will be known but varieties we will be understanding in a different head don't worry about it varieties different different varieties this will this should also be known itna hame pata hona chahiye theek hai this thing we should be understanding so family is basically your your ana car d cia family is ana car d cia genus is your mangifera mangifera and species species is your indica now this is the edible variety which we are going to talk about species mango we are having a lot of species guys like under this genus mangifera we have almost around 69 variety 69 species indica some other else i'll be telling you but this is the most important variety which is edible which is eatable right so first of all you have to know this thing anacardicia mangifera indica and then different varieties we will be understanding alfonso the shahari neelam all these varieties we will be learning it don't worry right now we will be learning it right now in india <clears throat> there are three varieties which is cultivated guys india three varieties not three species which are cultivated or uh, three species are found uh, we have find three species the most important species which is cultivated is mangifera indica only because this is the only species which gives us edible fruit that's why it is cultivated the rest of the species does not give us edible fruit and these are basically just no for the knowing sake mangifera sil vatica another one is mangifera polo nera now these two are not cultivated only mangifera indica is cultivated because it gives us edible fruit that's why whenever we study mango we say it as mangifera indica so this is your botanical description beautifully you have to give it varieties we will study under a different slide don't worry about it in detail we are going to study so when question will appear in the examination means examination your first line has been set right first line what you will write about the botanical description of mango is basically mango is from the anacardicia family mangifera indica is the uh, botanical description of mango other than that in india we grow three varieties other than india we find three species of which only mangifera indica is cultivated right this is your first few lines of introduction to mango apart from that it is a king fruit king of fruits bathroom fruit national fruit apart from this this is the uh, description we are having next you come to the origin area and production guys this should also be known that what is the origin of this mango mangifera indica or mango guys origin of this mango is basically indo burma only right and who is the leading producer which of the which uh, country is the leading producer of mango in the world level you should understand that it is india only in india if it will be asked which is the leading state up second number andhra pradesh normal general information not needed but you have to understand that. you understand this facts that fact that uh, suppose fruit is cultivated in india total how many fruits are cultivated doesn't matter but fruits are being cultivated in india right out of these fruit cultivation suppose 100% fruits are cultivated 35.5% is area is under the mango cultivation so you are seeing that how much large chunk mango is having among the fruits category i am not saying about agronomical crops cereal crops pulses i am only talking about the fruit suppose fruits are growing out of that 35% fruits are basically mango mango cultivation is happening happening so it is it is having a major chunk right now you have to understand two things you can also ask sir maximum fruit 
production in India can we say it is of mango? No. Maximum fruit production is of banana. But maximum area under fruit under fruit maximum area which has covered under fruit cultivation is basically of mango. Area is larger. Mango has taken larger area under its cultivation. Right, but it is not being produced at the highest quantity because quantity is more in the case of banana. You have to keep this fact in your mind, utilize it wherever you need, but this should be known. So under foods category, you can think large amount of food, food production is happening in banana, but area of uh, area under consideration or area under cultivation is of mango, right? Also mango is having two type is true. Right, and the edible part, part is mesocarp. All those fruits which are having this guthli or this stone type feature, let me show you. You are seeing this mango and you have this hard solid part over here in the form of seed. This is basically your endocarp, we call it, or wherever this type of feature is found, we call this fruit as true. And the eatable part which you are seeing, the juicy part, we call it mesocarp. Right, and what is this? This is the fruit. This is the <clears throat> panicle, guys. In rice, you are also seeing the panicle, but in mango tree, you will see large size panicle. From here, only flowering will happen. Flowering will happen, and from here, only fruit will be developing. Right, this is the mango tree. So you must have seen this. Okay, now you have to grow this. Now you have to grow this particular. Uh, mango tree now first thing which should come into your mind is what type what kind of soil i can grow this mango tree or grow this mango fruit what kind of soil should i use right so next requirement is to understand the soil these are very very basic detail okay climatic requirement also you can say but soil type soil you should know Whenever soil you will see for mango cultivation, one thing should come into your mind that alluvial and sandy loamy soil guys, sandy loamy soil are the ideal type of soil for mango cultivation. Which soil should be avoided? Alkaline soil should be avoided guys. Alkaline means slightly less than 6 or 7.5 pH is on the sorry more than that 7.5 and more pH right it should be avoided it needs this should be avoided the mango cultivation needs soil slightly acidic in nature slightly acidic what will happen if more alkaline or you will see the alkaline soil in which mango is grown you will see burning effect in the leaves right that is why it is avoided Slightly acidic means the pH range automatically you will understand the 6 to 7.5 pH. It is being see this particular soil description over here. Alluvial, sandy loam. Whenever you are confused about soil, these two soils should come your mind instant, uh, instantly, right? If you are confused about the soil in any of the crop, just put this thing. But it cannot be grown in alkaline or saline soils. These soils should be avoided. It should be in the range of 6 to 7.5 means for mango, you should think that slightly acidic soil is preferable. Acidic soil is preferable. So under soil, you have to remember alluvial sandy loil, alkaline should be avoided and a range 6 to 7.5. For rest, you just forget it. Rest is common knowledge that most desirable soil for mango it should be medium texture, deep, well drained with low water table. This line also you can remember. But ultimately, these points should be highlighting in your soil category, right? So your understanding, right? In one page, your mangoes POP is getting ready. POP how? First of all, botanical description. Then you are going ahead origin, production. Then you are going ahead soil. Like this, your that particular table is getting ready. Right, this is your table which is getting ready, which you have to see in the end. Now you next talk about the climate guys. Fourth climate, climatic requirements. When you talk about the climate, uh, first of all, what type of climate it is well suitable for mango is a tropical fruit guys. The tropical climate should be there, not a very extreme temperatures like less than five degrees Celsius. In temperate you will see minus mid temperature you will see in temperate regions right 
that's why it is not suitable for temperate regions because temperature go very low in winter season over here in climate first of all thing come come to your mind is what should be the temperature so it should be around 25 optimal temperature is 24 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius right it can withstand 5 degree celsius in the lower side and 40 degree celsius in the higher side so now different varieties are being grown which can withstand high temperatures and low temperatures too but ideal temperature is this only which you have to remember and for most of the crops you will find average temperature uh, average temperatures between 20 degrees to 30 degrees celsius only okay so automatically you will write this also second thing comes to your mind is rainfall temperature climate temperature and rainfall is examination examiner finding out So rainfall you should know that 125 cm of rainfall is more than enough throughout a year for the mango cultivation basis see this particular information i have taken it out from the icar website only mango is well adapted to tropical climate high humidity is the feature of tropical climate cloudy weather is the feature of tropical climate at the time of flowering are not favorable as they affect pollination fruit set and encourage disease this this point is very important guys that high humidity and cloudy weather which are the feature of tropical climate are not needed in the time of flowering theek okay. hai so you know under climate 24 degrees to 27 degrees celsius and 125 cm of rainfall is needed now you see the variety guys your fifth topic is varieties very important varieties of mango what varieties you have heard you have must have heard a lot of varieties we will be seeing one by one you must have seen alfonso alfonso variety alfonso variety grown where it is grown in maharashtra region right what it is best known for now alfonso is known for the best exporting exporting exported variety exporting variety or export variety because it is exported a lot right also it is utilized for it is also known as hafuz it is also known as badami right and it is also best utilized for juicing purposes canning purposes right theek hai one variety you should know alfonso this alfonso is susceptible to one disease known as spongy tissue i'll be telling you in pest management disease management will be seeing spongy tissue disease it is susceptible second is your chonsa you must have heard about chonsa and chonsa is grown where himachal himachal pradesh bihar right over here chonsa is grown and it is the most sweetest variety guys also chonsa is the late growing variety means the fruit develops over a period of time like very late right so late growing variety chonsa another variety which is grown commercially grown in andhra pradesh and mostly the large cultivation of this variety is happens in andhra pradesh only that is bangan palli bangan palli theek hai and it has got the gi tag also and it is grown specifically in andhra pradesh theek hai theek hai these three varieties you try to know rest of the variety i'll show you ye dekho idhar Alfonso, you have known Maharashtra, Banganpalli, Andhra Pradesh, Chonsa, Himachal Pradesh. One more also you try to know. Let me show you. Kesar. Kesar is the most important variety of Gujarat region. Kesar. Now one variety which you are seeing that is grown in Uttar Pradesh is Langada variety, guys. Now Langada variety is has bad specific or the unique thing is that it is alternate bearer. Alternate bearer. What do you mean by alternate bearer you understand that there are two types of fruiting happens one is regular fruiting or you can say regular bearer theek hai another one is alternate bearer alternate bearer you must have understood that if fruiting is happening every year 1 2 3 4 5 every year fruiting is happening then this is a regular bearer automatically what will you prefer this particular regular bearing fruits you will preferring or regular bearing trees you will be preferring because every year you are getting the fruit alternate bearer are 1 2 3 4 5 first year it has given fruits second year it will not third year it will give fourth year it will not fifth year it will give this type of uh, trees you will not prefer so 
langda is one type of variety which is alternate bearer right another is very important dashari also is grown in uttar pradesh theek hai to at least these type of varieties you should know alfonso bangal bali they can simply write question can comes uh, like write about the varieties of different varieties of mango alfonso bangal bali dashari kesar langda tonsa one one line which i have taught you first try to have graphs in that because a lot of things are there to study but how much will you study will you do a lot of uh, detailed study in the shahri banganpalli no just see the varieties move on right this should be the approach i am telling you now you understand that there are certain hybrid varieties which we have created too theek hai hybrid varieties so type write the heading hybrid varieties under that we have taken neelam as one variety cross alfonso as another variety now you have known that alfonso has the major problem of spongy tissue disease happens in the susceptible to spongy tissues so when we have crossed neelam and alfonso we have got ratna as the hybrid variety so one example of hybrid mango you have got is ratna another hybrid variety second neelam you cross it with dashari so second is a neelam crossing with dashari giving you malika guys now third is if you are crossing dashari with neelam what difference neelam and dashari dashari and neelam means you have changed the male female part first you have kept neelam as male second you have kept female as neelam right this will give you amrapali so amrapali malika ratna are the hybrid varieties of mango this is what i want to tell you and ratna fourth one also ratna and if you cross alfonso you will get sindhu sindhu so ratna malika amrapali sindhu directly you will write in one line that these are hybrid varieties of mango so these are about the mango uh, varieties of mango which you have known guys write it down over here hybrid varieties also directly name you know ratna malika amrapali and sindhu when you will see this table see this table over here guys you will find varieties right over here you will find malika amrapali ratna sindhu directly they have written it now you must be understanding that how they have written it right so ye bhi aapko samajhna now you can write about the varieties also you understand question will all question will never come only on one aspect of pop they will never write they never never let you write 250 words on varieties only they will give you a mixture of things i'll be showing you too that how they have asked question on mango right don't worry about it next thing which you have to understand is sixth one is how propagation is happening so propagation propagation of a mango so under propagation you know that two types of propagative methods are used one is sexual propagation another is a non sexual or you also say it as vegetative you know that with sexual production uh, sexual propagation time is taken a lot that means sexual reproduction happen by seed whatever mango you have got you take out the seed you wash it out then sow it again then after germination will happen uh, will happen over a long time uh, long, a long period of time as compared to the vegetative stage so it is being less utilized for commercial products uh, com commercial propagation for commercial production you need a vegetative type of production which can be fast which we can get the fast products so over here vegetative type basically your vegetative propagation is very important over here vegetative propagation and in a mango vegetative propagation is done by three methods one method is your guys you have to know linear grafting linear grafting another method is known as anarking in arking in arking another method is known as epicotyle grafting very important the most used one is a linear grafting guys this is the most used one in mango cultivation whenever you will say that how mango is cultivated linear grafting vegetative propagation is done in mango in arking is most popular in southern india and the most economic method fast method is epicotyle grafting now what are these three types of 
vegetative propagation guys you should know in a veneer grafting what happens is that you need one rootstock and rootstock is nothing but this particular tree and you have created this v type cut over here this is a tree okay over here now you will attach this called root stock the name terminology of this particular tree suppose this is a a known as root stock and the required plant suppose this is the required species of mangifera indica or the required variety which you need over here because it produces a lot of good uh, good product of mango so what you will do you will like make it like this right and you will then attach it over here like this so this is the b plant of mango this is a plant of mango and this is known as shion s c i o n shion and then you will like cover it with or you will paste it with some cello tapes or tape you will keep a bonding so that it can bond with each other right over the period of time what you will find that fruiting will develop and this fruiting will be of this particular type. this is a veneer grafting case this inarking is also very interesting suppose this is the plant of mangifera indica right suppose this is one branches you will find over here this is a plant you are seeing that in this a plant this branch is having good amount of mangoes quality mangoes that are producing by, produced by this particular plant and you have now you want this quality of this particular a plant you want the quality in your new grown plant which you are growing suppose this is your new grown plant what you will do that you will take this particular plant over here this is you have taken this plant over here and you will attach one of the branch with the branch of this a plant and you will like wrap it again wrap it right over the period of time what you will see you will just Maybe sorry guys over here you will just cut out the this particular branch what you will see now the new plant will be having one two three but new plant will be having the branch of the characteristics of this a plant i am telling you in a very simple way this is not very easy the another 30 minutes which i am saying that you have to apply on your own is you have to see this in arcing how farmers are doing this in arcing methods on youtube on krishi channels you have to see this that's why I have told you that another 30 minutes you have to put. Just see that. Nobody will ask you how inarking is happening. Write it in 250 words. But you should have you should have an understanding. Now you will see that you have this branch and this branch will show you the characteristics of this A tree. This is inarking practiced in South India more. Epicotyl grafting. Again, don't go into the peculiarities of epical epicotyl grafting. These two are nothing but same epicotyl grafting and veneer grafting very minute differences are there we don't have to study those differences over here right but you see these methods which are being utilized in mango cultivation under vegetative propagation okay few more things you should know in this propagation method is the planting season when it should be grown it should be grown it or it is grown either in spring or either in monsoon season and a very well type of uh, mango pr is produced in the monsoon season only, right? Under planting layout, you will find three types of layouts. Square, that over here, this is the field, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like this. Hexagonal or quincux system, right? Planting distance very important planting distance for normal mango tree suppose this is the field and you have grown one mango tree over here the another mango tree will be should be at the distance of 10 meter that means a lot of space is being eaten up for normal mango that's why we have created the hybrid mango which is which can be grown at the short distance also that now within 2.5 meter you can grow another type of mango tree or not another type of but another mango tree over here then also an, uh, another mango tree so what you are seeing that now we have increased the density so that's why we have high density mango trees also or high density varieties also basically amrapali which we have seen is one of that high density mango guys because over here 2.5 meter distance is needed not 10 meters like in mangoes understanding 10 meter and 2.5 meter how it got changed 
because of the hybrid variety which we have created so how many how much uh, package of practices you have seen in mango you will start with the botanical description you will tell the area of origin or uh, the origin production you will tell the soil requirements climatic requirements you will tell the varieties different varieties of this mango you can tell about the propagative methods these things are done under propagative methods you should also do, know that how planting is done planting time planting season planting layout right planting space next is your cultural practices guys and under cultural practices you should know over here write down cultural practices cultural practices in mango over here you should know first of all the nutrient requirement right so over here first things will come nutrient management also you can put it under fertilizer requirement okay see understand mango tree growth is not for uh, for one to three years right these are from long long time period like 10 years 15 years they will be working so whenever the requirement of uh, initial requirement will be different after 10 years requirement will be different right so let me show you a table see this table guys over here what you are understanding that first year the fym needed is 10 kgs they have not made the column for fym farm yield manure 10 kgs is applied slowly slowly alternate months right and nitrogen phosphorus and potash is 100 100 100 over here in some books you will find 150 100 doesn't matter it fluctuates so you can keep 150 100 also or 100 100 100 also what you are seeing in second third fourth fifth year is they are just doubling it right so in the 10th year you will see thousand 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 that means you are doubling it in the 10th year you have to put multiply by 10 100,000 or 500,000 as per this particular table you will get 1500,000 as per this table 1000, 1000, 1000 no need to remember the whole table just cut it down just write first year and 10th year you will have to utilize NPK in this proportion very simple I am telling you don't go into the uh, why that why only 10 kgs why not 15 kgs 20 kgs I am telling you you have to utilize this knowledge or just one question from horticulture which is appearing in POP and that too you want not to be an agriculturist but to be a civil servant so, learn as it is right so FYM is at basically added basically to improve the texture of soil you can also sow green manure crop in this particular don't worry about this but onset of monsoon fertilizer you can grow uh, these particular type of green manure crop or FYM you can utilize right so over here in FYM you can write the first year FYM is needed 10 kgs then NPK you can write 150 100 in the 10th year you have to utilize 100 kgs of FYM then 1000 500 thousand in the 10th year this is your nutrient requirement right second one is your irrigation requirement irrigation requirement very important over here the fertilizer method how you should use fertilizer over here that it should be applied through a circular trench for the trees which are of more age of 10 years you should apply at 1.5 meter away from the trunk it should be generally applied in the beginning of monsoon and irrigation we have to give after the application of fertilizers now if you have to correct the micronutrient deficiency apply ZNSO4, Uran, Urea and spraying of KNO3 in November helps in opening of the flower bud and uniform flower. These points are very important from the nutrient management point of view. Irrigation required, but I was telling you that in first year you have to give it six times. But in second year the requirement will be different. In the third year requirement will be different. In the 10 year requirement will be different, right? So irrigation requirement is very important for the first initial year. First, second, third year initial irrigation requirement is very essential. After that it is not that much important, right? For irrigation you should utilize this particular page guys now mango respond well to irrigation that too initially when it will be at a fruit set and development phases right the young plant should be irrigated at a 
frequent stages understand this in bearing trees you should stop irrigation before flowering period and before two months you should stop uh, this irrigation guys because it encourages bud formation very important point guys very very important these are mentioned in icar website directly right it should be given regularly during fruit development period beginning from fruit set stage to development stage where irrigation have to stop you have to see 20 30 days before maturing or harvesting the crop drip system is also being utilized okay these methods you should utilize for irrigation two things also be done during this practices are pruning and intercultivation guys intercultivation means suppose this is one mango tree this is second mango tree you know a normal mango tree distance is kept as 10 meter so during this 10 meter distances you have shade also so you can grow some shade loving trees over here shade loving crops over here right this area can be utilized by intercropping method right so read this particular paragraph of inter intercultivation how much yield we will get out of one plant guys you will get 80 kgs to 100 kgs per plant guys now the most important thing which we have to talk about is your plant protection guys pest management plant production whatever you call it call it right plant protection over here first of all you should know about certain mango pest or certain pest related to mango cultivation right so over here you have certain pest as you should remember mango mealybug okay another one is anthrac nose you should be very comfortable with these words guys anthrac nose mango mealybug this is what your life should revolve around pest this uh, pest management how you will do the pesticide which will you which will be using irrigation fertilizer requirement you should be comfortable with these words mango millibug anthracnose another one is a mango stem hopper ye three pest ko to aap yaad rakhna mango millibug anthracnose mango stem hopper let me show you mango millibug guys ye dekho ye jo white white se aapko dikh rahe hain ye millibug hai white thing chote chote insect you will find pest you will find mango mango millibug theek hai and this is a hopper theek hai now certain diseases of mango which you should know diseases or disorders in mango you will find first of all you will find over here black tip guys black tip you must have seen mangoes like this and over here black tip means over here you will find some black spot like this you will find some black spot so this is a disorder this is a disease basically what happens how it happens first of all you will see a mango like this and a yellow spot will be forming first of all then slowly and slowly this yellow spot will be turning into black spot and it will stop the growth of this fruit so this black tip is one of the disorder you will find over here it is happen generally happens because of prone boron deficiency and it is seen in dashhara variety of dashhara oh, i am saying dashhari variety of mango okay second disorder which you will see is of spongy tissue now this spongy tissue let me show you and i have told you that it is susceptible to which of the variety alfonso and it is happening because of calcium deficiency or potassium deficiency how it looks like like this it looks like guys see over here this is a spongy tissue disease which is susceptible to alfonso so we have created one variety ratna as the resistant variety Alfonso with Neelam giving me Ratana and Ratana is basically resistant to this spongy tissue disease, right? Another diseases which you will find over here is another malfunction. We will find spongy tissue, powdery mildew, powdery mildew, mango malformation, formation. Yeah, see this, this is mango, this is powdery mildew, mango malform malformation. Another disorders you will see over here is of fruit drop guys. Very common problem. It occurs at the P stage development of P stage of development, right? Because of moisture deficiency, nutrient deficiency, and hormonal imbalance. These are the causes for mango fruit drop. How you can control it by spraying 24D at 10 ppm or naphthalene acetic acid or 20 ppm twice at 15 days interval. This is the control method, right? So who is more langda is more susceptible to fruit drop guys so there are different types of fruit drop pinhead drop pin setting drop 
post setting drop, May month drop. Happening why? Because of climatic factor, lack of nutrition, attack of diseases. The simple things you have to write. Control method I have already told you, and you can utilize this also. Irregular in bearing means that one year they are bearing the fruits, second year they are not. This is also known as a biennial bearing, guys. That one year it is growing very heavy crop, next year no little little fruit we are getting it. Right, and this problem you will see in the Dashari Langla Chosa are biennial bears, whereas these South Indian varieties are not having this, they are regular bears, bearers. And this biennial bearing is also known as irregular bearing. Yeah. Why it is happening? Because of uh, nutritional disavailability, Majorly, this because of this it, uh, it happens. Over here you will also find that uh, because of imbalance in nutrient status of plant, these things happen. So we have to provide balance mirroring fertilizer application should happen in order to keep the tree healthy and vigorous. Okay, control methods are also there, but these control methods uh, just know it. So no need to go into very much depth of it, but understand that over here deep blossoming is recommended. Deep blossoming. Why? Because to, we have to reduce the crop load in the on air where we are accept where we are uh, expecting the fruit, right? So this was about your package of practices of mango. At least now, whatever they will ask you, you should have certain content. They will never focus on one aspect. They will give you three, four, five aspects and then they will create a question for 250 words, 15 marker or 20 marker or 10 marker also, right? And you have known the botanical name, then the origin, area of production. Then you should know the soil, climatic requirement. Then you should know the varieties. Then you should know the propagative methods. Then you should know the cultural methods. Under cultural, you should know the fertilizer requirement, nutrient requirement, and irrigation requirement. Then you have gone to plant protection under that pests related to mango tree and the diseases malformation related to mango. Some of the problems you have seen of mango also like black tip fruit drop, like you have seen uh, pineal bearing. Okay. So over here you will see mango, mangifera, soil, climate, varieties you have seen, propagation method you have seen, seeding, placing, planting season you should know, fertilizer dose 1500. 1000 or 100, 550, 100. Pest, fruit fly, stem borer, or whatever we have studied, you see this powdery mildew and anthracnose. Physical disorder, you will find spongy tissue, alternate bearing are the problems. So, this is about mango, guys. Again, see the question which they have asked in 2020. Describe mango cultivation with respect to propagation, veneer grafting, epicotyl grafting, and your inarching intercropping, biennial pairing root drop black tip 15 marker 1 2 3 4 5 5 headings should come that means only 2 3 2 3 lines are important 2 3 lines 2 3 lines on propagation 2 3 lines on intercropping 2 3 lines biennial 2 3 lines fruit drop black tip what you are understanding from here is in depth you should not go because that will kill your time you might be understanding black tip in detail you must be understanding that how you will reduce this black tip disease but that is not important because only 2 3 lines requirement is there right so this should be there guys and mango is completed in this particular lecture next we will be starting with another crop and likewise we will try to have some 10 12 crops okay guys if you want me to continue the series do comment if you like it do comment right thank you so much i'll meet you in the next session keep revising